it's not quite 11 o'clock either, so I'll, ha I'll have to give it a few minutes. How is everyone doing anyway? Well, we just wait a few, few more people. Are you on well and getting used to this new norm? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> we'll find out what you do, Kat, how the how the how's the how's the writing getting on? Because obviously yeah, it's it's good. I've done loads in lockdown. Time, <laughs> yeah, done loads. Good, I'm good. trying to transition from my from my occupation into an author. And it's given me loads of time to do that. Okay, so, interesting. Yeah. Well, one thing that COVID has done, right, let's be honest, is that a lot of people have said they never had time to do so many things. Yeah. And one of the things that COVID has done, it has given us all time to do all the things that we said we never had time to do. Yeah, absolutely. So we have that huge advantage. Yeah. I think people are, uh, are re-evaluating um, their own lives, their own work lives. I've got friends of mine down in London they commute an hour and a half every morning into, into London and an hour and a half every night. Now they've been furloughed. So, and they're saying we're well, never going to go back to that lifestyle again. No. Well, I think, I think that, look, it, it does bring out a lot of priorities in people's lives. What's priority, what is important, etc. And it gives them a chance to reflect and refocus. And what a lot of people have found is that they have found that it is possible to live um, in a way that they're comfortable and they can balance a much better work-life balance. So it is giving that sort of opportunity. Yeah. Okay, so we're almost there. So we're just waiting for the last few people to, I can still see four or five people trying to sign in struggling. Okay, so think we'll make a start. It is 11 o'clock and we don't want to be too late and other people can join us as we go. Well, let me welcome all of you to today's meeting. Um, thank you so much for everyone to joining us. It has given us the opportunity at least to meet um, online in a virtual space, but it is an opportunity for us to connect, to get to know other people, etc. So for those people who are familiar with WhatsApp, what actually happens in my meetings is that um, we share a few business tips, et cetera, so everyone gets some value out of it. And then you'll all be given a chance to sort of um, introduce yourselves. Um, you'll be able to share your website or screen, whatever you want to do. Um, introduce yourselves. Once, whilst you're introducing yourselves, you'll have the opportunity to put your details in the chat box. And so at the end, everyone will have everyone's details and they'll be able to contact each other. And look, we've been doing these meetings on in person in the last few months because of this COVID-19 we moved to, moved to online. It has worked, it does produce results. Um, and it's a case of making those connections because the more connections you make, believe me, somewhere along the line, you will make good business or you'll recommend someone's service to someone else and that just helps you. And as always, um, I start off with um, trying to give someone some tips. So I am going to start off with some tips everyone does take some value away from today. And then I'll start going through with everyone. Everyone have the chance to introduce themselves, tell them a little bit about themselves, their business. Um, they'll be able to share a screen if they want to show a video or a, a website or any leaflets, etc. You'll be able to do that. I am going to limit everyone to a maximum of about three, four minutes at the max, okay? 
And so that's what happened. So I'm going to be sharing my screen now, and I'll tell you what I'm going to be doing. Let's share this. Hopefully, you'll be all be able to see. It. Nice. Okay. So what I want to do is just go through some ideas. Like I do, I spend a few minutes every time uh, going through some business tips, etc. So we'll try and go through some tips that I think are important. First of all, um, a lot of people are asking about grants, etc. Okay, so yeah. the first lot of phrase of grants have now finished. Okay, there are a second lot of phrase uh, grants for those people who are self employed and their profits were under 50,000 for last year, 18, 19, or 1920. And they will have the second grant coming to them, or they have to apply for them. That grant was supposed to open late July. He's now said that it will open on the 17th of August. Okay, so for those of you who are self-employed, you will be able to get a grant. Now, the benefit of grants are they are not repayable. Okay, so if you're self-employed, the second grant opens on the 17th of August. Um, I'll give more details out near the time of how you apply, but for those who can apply for the first one, it is identical. Okay, so it's really literally identical sort of process. You log in, put your details in, and six days later, the money is in your bank. Please do remember, guys, that when it comes to self-employment grants, the accountants like us cannot do it for you. They made very strict provisions that the person who is claiming they have to do it themselves. Same rules the first time. The grant is not as generous as the first time. Okay, it is 10% less. So it's not going to be, for those of you who got a grant earlier on, um, it's not going to be... It's going to be ten percent less this time. Now the two other grants, when the government has put some money into, and these are grants which I believe that everyone here should benefit from, and um, they're probably not less well known. The first one is a small business leadership program. Okay, um, I'll send the, I'll send my presentation out to everyone, so you don't need to write down anything, but I will send it out to you, so you've got the links. Um, this is a program that the government used to do, um, and it used to be paid for. The government has now said that, look, for small business, if anyone doesn't want to know how about leadership policies, what you need to have, etc. The program is online now, so you will be able to register on that, and the government is funding places for that. So it's a one thing that they said, rather than giving money, people's and businesses money, they said, we're going to fund the program. So anyone who's interested in a leadership program, it's an online program. I think it was for about 10 weeks. Um, people who have done it in the past have said very positive things about it. So it is something that you may want to consider. It was worth about two or three thousand pounds, two and a half thousand pounds was a fee originally. It is now free of charge. So they put some money to that, and so it's worth pursuing. The second one is this is the one they announced last week. On the 31st of July, they announced this one. They are putting 20 million pounds into a new grant which is for small businesses, which is every one of those guys on there. This is going to be um, distributed by a local growth hub. So it's not going to be distributed to HMRC. It's going to be distributed by a gr local growth hub. It's going to be between 1,000 and 3,000 pounds. So it's not a lot of money, but it is something for, you, for your grants. Now, there are some clauses in this that it has to be used specifically for certain items. It can be used for legal advice, okay? So if you are um, anyone who provides consultancy or provides legal advice, then it's maybe worth your while registering with GoPub and you'll be able to access customers who will get these vouchers for their grants. The second thing, and probably something that's really important, more probably useful for all of us, is that the grant is also available for any Thing that you want to do to improve your efficiency. So this talks about systems, IT, etc. So if you do want to invest in a new IT system, a new computer system, then this grant is available for that. Okay, so they will they will insist on you, you know, like buying it and then they'll reimburse it, or you have to provide them with the with the evidence this much cost, etc. Or you can provide them with the receipt as well, and they'll pay that for you. But that's what it's for. It's between one and three thousand pounds. It is again a grant, so it's not repayable. Okay, so it is worth you pursuing that sort of things for your benefit. Now, one of the things that we do need to do, okay, so any sort of business, whether you're a new business 
or whether you're an established business, one of the things that, especially in this day and age now that we live in at the moment, is to be in contact with your customers. Just let them know you're still there, you're still doing the work, you still exist, etc. You need to be in regular touch with them, okay? And they may need your services, they may need help from you, etc. Now is the best time for you to really get that repertoire with your customers. So that involves sending out emails, posting on your social media things, whatever you want to do. Please go ahead and do that. And I want to talk a bit about social media because everyone's at home. Social media has bloomed. So there's a lot more people on social media, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and I just want to talk a bit more about social media and what's involved in the different sorts of things. What I am going to tell you is let's start with Facebook, okay? These are the things that a lot of people don't realize when it comes to certain social media platforms. Okay, so Facebook has two billion users. Okay. Interesting, now this is a bit that you use to your advantage, yeah? Or you, you decide whether this is really the platform for you or not. Well, you've got to realize when it comes to social media and Facebook, 74% of the people who use Facebook are actually female. Okay, of course, the majority of the time are female. Yeah? However, they are a young age. Most of the people using Facebook is between 18 and 29. So anyone who's past 30, um, our tendency to use social media, etc., diminishes. We don't use it, we don't embrace it as much. We do need to use it. Okay, so, and it tells you a bit about what the average income, this is what the stats have shown that the people who use Facebook, etc. So it is a hugely potential useful tool now that you know, know more about it and how to use it. Instagram, which is really blown up. Now, Instagram is one of those things where, yeah, okay, a billion active monthly users is huge, okay? And it's becoming very popular. So a lot of people are saying, I'm not finding success on Instagram. And the reason for that is obvious is that because if you look at the average age of Instagrammers, they are a young age. Okay, so this is why Instagram <coughs> are useful for people who use influence. So people who do cosmetics because it helps that sort of thing. So some of the cosmetic giants that a lot of young people follow, they put people on there showing their products, etc. And that's why it's useful for that sort of thing. Okay, but it is a tool that we need to be aware of. And if we are targeting a young demographic, that is something that we need to use to okay, because... No, it's all right. See you tomorrow. Yeah, in tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Can I ask everyone to please mute themselves if they because otherwise it's going to disturb everyone else because we're here in the conversation as well? YouTube. Okay. Everyone knows YouTube. It has two billion monthly users. Okay. Most of the people who use YouTube are adults. Okay, so it is a lot more adult based. Okay. And um, the interesting bit, and this is the bit that I found, which is where we need to use that. When we go to YouTube, we don't watch it for hours and end. It's not like Netflix where we'll watch it hours and end. People on average spend about 11 minutes and 24 seconds is what someone they've calculated. That's what we spend on YouTube, no more than that. That's why having short, sharp videos is critical because people's attentions are not there. If you're gonna put something really long-winded, you will have those people who are technically minded, they will watch it because it's in their interest. If you're trying to catch general imagination, it needs to be short and sharp. Um, and there's a huge amount of people who use it in the UK. LinkedIn, and it's probably, and some of us don't use LinkedIn the way we should do, okay? But it has 660 million members. Okay, although there's a lot of young people on there, but it is the most well established. And it's fine that if you're a business, you can have your business LinkedIn page on there, a, pro a profile. How you set that profile up is gonna be hugely, hugely important. Okay, but it is more useful for business to business contacts. So LinkedIn is something that you do need to consider. The 
problem that a lot of people have with all these social media is, is that it's not just a case of pushing sales. Okay, and generally the people who are most successful on social media, they only push sales 20% of the time. The other 80% has to be something which captures people's imagination, they find it interesting, not necessarily pushing your products or your services all the time. You need to engage with people. Okay, so what sort of things work on social media? Okay, and what about the other 80%? We know 20% is sales. What about the other 80%? What do we actually people, what do people want to do? You need to get involved in conversations. You need to start answering people's queries and questions. You know, if you go to some community platforms, some people have questions there. Try to get involved in answering those questions, try answering those queries. You will create a lot more understanding out of it. This is something that Ty put together, the bank. Okay, and what they found is that social media and for businesses, this was really business related, right? And it was a case of what do people find really interesting or cool? Or what do they find annoying? Okay, so the biggest thing on there is look, the top two. Video clips, responding to questions, joining conversations. Okay, so that's what you need to really focus on. And video clips are hugely essential. Short, sharp clips, which will make you successful. Um, and they capture people's imagination, tells you what you want to say. Try and use that to your advantage. But then obviously talking about politics, making fun of customers, using sang language, making fun of competitors, that's something that's not really um, that people, pick, people like. So if you do that sort of thing, you are going to you know, disenfranchise a potential customer, et cetera. So use it to your advantage. What time do you post on social media? Okay, social media doesn't sleep. Me and you sleep, yeah? Or, you know, we try to sleep as best as we can. But there are times when social media works better at certain times. So there's been a lot of um, research, et cetera, done on what times are best to post and what days are best to post. So when it comes to Facebook, 9 a.m., 11 a.m., 11 to 12, Three to four are the best time to post anything. But interestingly, not Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday to Sunday are the best time to post. Your chances of people reading your post, engaging in your clips on social media or Facebook, are a lot higher on Thursday to Sunday than they are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Okay, so if you're posting things on Monday and you're wondering why no one's liking it, no one's reading it, and that's because people are busy on a Monday morning. So Thursday to Sunday get better results. Twitter, again, I'll send this presentation to all of you guys. I'm not going to go through it all, but there are times when you should post. And interestingly, if you look at the best things of business to business, so if you are doing business to business, weekdays are better. Okay. Um, I've done that one. Instagram, again, the time to post on Instagram, the best time to post it is a young people's platform. So therefore, a lot of people look at it on Friday, they're going out on Saturday and Sunday, etc. So the best time, best day to post is always a Friday. LinkedIn, Wednesday is the best time to post. Yeah, so you, you use these, these things that have been put together with huge, so it's not been done by me, but it's done by people who do these researches and they, they come up with what is the best time and the best days to post. Use that to your advantage. I'll send this presentation out to everyone. Okay, but the important thing is that once you start using something, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, etc., you need to see what sort of results are you getting. There's no point in just posting, posting, posting if you're not getting results. You do need to find out how, how many people are looking at it, who they are, etc where they are and they're on each of these platforms has its own sort of analytical tool which you can use to see how many people have actually looked at it if you post a video you'll see how many people have watched two seconds of it how many people watch it completely okay because if someone clicks on a video that doesn't mean to say they watched it all so you use the tools which are more or less free of charge yeah and to your advantage 
so you see what's working. But if someone's not working, you don't need to waste your time on it. It may not be for you. Instagram may be that, look, you can spend a lot of money and a lot of effort on Instagram, but there were people who no one's watching it on Instagram. So you say, well, look, Instagram is not for me. Either I need to, to come up with a new strategy for Instagram, or I need to just abandon Instagram altogether. So there's no point in me wasting time. Same for everything else. You need to look at how many people you're reaching. Is it producing results? Because at the end of the day, what do we actually want? We want sales. Because we don't have a business without sales. We can have the best website, the best product, the best services. Unless we have sales, we don't have a business. So that's how what, ideally what we want to do. Sales don't come immediately. You do need to keep doing it again and again and again and again. Okay, and there was a study which I shared with them last program that it says that you need to have at least 24 contacts with a person before they do business with you i.e. they need to see your post, your meeting, you say hi to them 24 times at least before they do business with you. Your chances of, if you do meet someone regularly, you meet contacting them or they're reading your post, after, if they keep on reading it after 24 contacts, your chances of that person becoming your customer or your client, etc., increases dramatically. So that's something that you need to use. You do need to get something to do your social media, okay? Social media is only one tool. You can't be spending all day and time, which I've seen with many business owners, they spent hours and hours in social media and they've forgotten some of the other stuff. Social media is one tool. Use some of these, and I've only mentioned a few there for those people who don't know, but these are social media management platforms, Hootsuite, Buffer, etc. And all you need to do is log into one of them or create your account. And a lot of people who use this professionally can do all their social media in about an hour for the whole week. Because this allows you to say what you want to post, when, which day, what platform, all in the one platform. So you're not going to Facebook to post summer, then you're going to Instagram to post summer, then you go to Facebook to post summer, LinkedIn. You can do it all from these platforms. So use these platforms. There's so many people, these platforms exist, but I find many small businesses either don't know about them or they don't use them. They're not difficult to use. And if you can get into a regime, you can use your social media. It is a tool and it is a tool which is more and more in use. So if you're not on social media, you need to be on social media, okay? And you need to use social media to your advantage. That's really what I wanted to share with you for business tips for today. Um, and that's what we do every time I share some with you. I hope you find that was useful. What I am going to do now is going to go back to you. We'll all have the opportunity to speak about your businesses, your businesses, and we'll take it from there. So let me get back in here. Okay. So um, we're going to be going through and each one of you will have the opportunity to speak, tell us a bit about yourself. Um, and I will start with, Brian, I'll start with you. Brian Olson, you're there. Renew yourself and let us know all about what you do. Brian, you're on mute at the moment. No one can hear you. Is that better? That's better, Brian. Thank you. Right. Apologies for the error. Right. Brian Rolson. I'm with a company called Filestream. Filestream is at its best if you are back in the office. Now, I realize some of you won't be back there yet. But for those of you who have an office, you probably have four drawer filing cabinets or even not files that typically contain lots and lots of pieces of paper. They also take up a lot of your office or home office space and take time to fill with the paper that's in them. By the time that many of the documents that are still there won't have been looked at since they were first filed. So electronic document software 
is what my company provides. They also provide you with the ability to access those documents quickly and efficiently. Those documents are also encrypted when they're stored. So like many of us working remotely, is that my time? No, no, carry on, Brian. I, Sorry, I heard a beep. No, no, so many, fine, of us, many of us working remotely, we can now securely access and share those documents that are on our office filing system. So electronic document management systems from FileStream allow you to file more efficiently, more securely, and share documents. Thank you. That's great. Thank you, Brian. Um, now, one of the things I do need to do now, I've recently signed up with FileStream, and it's something that I really should have done before COVID-19, and we did talk about with me and Brian, but because of my laziness and whatever, we never got around to doing it until recently. And I can honestly say to everyone that, look, if you've got any sort of documents that you need, get onto Filestream. It's going to make your life easier, especially if you ever have another lockdown anywhere or you need to say, find documents immediately because it does index them. Um, and it's just like having a cabinet. You open your cabinet, you can have your clients and each one have separate folders in there. I've recently gone into that process and it's making my life easier. Um, and there is a lot of, it does take, and they do everything for you. They set the cabinets up, everything for you. They help you out with that. Then it's just a case of you scanning documents, putting them in, and it does work really well. So um, really, honestly, I do recommend everyone try it. Brian, what I want you to do is in the chat box, can you please leave your details in there? And then I'll tell everyone how they can download the chat box so everyone shares everyone's details. So in the chat box, Brian, if you'd like to put your details in and how people can contact you. Say thank you. No problem. Right, next we're going to have, uh, I'm going to go in alphabetically. So Akil Kazmi should be here. Akil, if you want to unmute yourself and tell us about yourself. Yeah, sure. Thanks for the opportunity. So my name is Akil Kazmi. Um, I've got my own training company, which basically teaches project management and uh, business analysis and also I don't know if you've heard of Scrum which is uh, there's a lot of roles in the tech space uh, Scrum Master and Product Owner are some of the courses that we do there. I'm also recently becoming an executive coach so that's another area which I'd like to obviously expand and find clients so that's basically helping people in their corporate careers predominantly. Uh, I was going to share a video um, um, if I if I can if I can if I can dig it out, but that's uh, um, so I'm just trying to see if I if I can find it. But uh, I might I might have to come back to. Uh, no problem, Akil. If you can't find it, let me know. If you find it towards the end, you can come back and show that video. Not a problem. Yeah, if that if that's okay, that 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 would be great. Drop your details in the chat box with your contact details, so the sure. people will be able to check find you later on. Okay. Perfect. And also, I didn't register for this event. I just got it on a WhatsApp. So I didn't, do I need to register? Out to a lot in, of people. Don't worry. Okay. So in order to get your presentation and emails, are yeah, you going to... That's why I'm saying that if you leave your contact details in the chat box with your email, your names and whatever, I'll make perfect. a presentation. Okay. Perfect. Thanks a lot. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next, Angie, we should have you. I've seen you somewhere. Angie, you are here. So unmute yourself and come to... Hello, the... Saeed. Hello. Hi. I'm very good, Angie. How are you? It's good to see you. Yeah, yeah, good. very well, thank you. Right, tell us about your. Uh, I'll let people let you know. Tell them about okay. You. Thank you. So if you've met me before or, or if um, anyone was here when I've attended previous sessions, it may surprise you that I've completely pivoted. I've pivoted so many times. I'm like halfway to Kathmandu or something. But I used to be in the well-being space. Technically, I still am. So I am a fitness and a yoga teacher. But now I work with uh, professional men and women to help them overcome effects of narcissistic abuse, which is emotional abuse. And I've been doing this for about eight years now and found a nice little like niche area for myself. I've created a meditation and mindfulness program specifically for, you know, these individuals. And it just stops them to like clear away the confusion and gaslighting and stop any other manipulation tactics that they employ. 
And so that's what I do, yeah. And it's a, a private sort of coaching group that I run. But for anybody who is not able to join on uh, those groups for whatever reason, there's also like a affordable sort of um, meetups that I hold as well on a regular basis. And it may surprise people, but I've had an equal a number of men and women attend. <laughs> Actually, you know, men are affected by it just as much. And I've had people from all backgrounds, all ages, and it's it's been really good. So yeah, it's nice that I can give back and found something that I could do good in. Excellent, very good, thank you. Um, and you drop your details in the chat box, okay? I will do, thank you, Said. I'll thank do you. that now, thank you. Yeah, next we have Brian Bulcock. I know you can't come on the video, Brian, but if you want to unmute yourselves, we still, uh, you, we'll still like to hear from you. Okay, I'm going to, I think Brian is probably away at the moment. We'll, we'll come back to him. Chantal, you're here. Hi, Sahid. Hi, everybody. Hi, Chantal. How are um, you? I'm good. Thank you very much. <laughs> nice to see you again. Um, yeah, so um, basically, um, I'm managing director of a business that I started called Printex Graphics. Um, I started last year in September, so it's been about a year. And um, I'm a graphic design and print business. So um, in this, uh, these 12 months, I should say, um, I've been helping startup, mainly startup business, I help all kinds of businesses, but mainly startup businesses um, to promote, obviously, um, their business through print designs, leaflets, um, business cards, um, Currently, I've been doing more websites at the moment. Um, I've been a web developer for over 10 years. So that's kind of like my specialist um, area. So um, I'm currently been helping um, beauticians um, in that field and, and cleaning companies. Now that, you know, due to coronavirus, a lot of people have started up cleaning companies. So they're wanting websites for that. Um, and yeah, so I've, I've been doing that for 12 months. I've helped about well, I'm on my ninth business, so I'm helping in, in these 12 months, nine businesses to, to boost their, their, their sales and, and their business as well and promote themselves very well. Um, yeah, so that's me, Chantal from Printex Graphics. Okay, thank you, Chantal. Put your details in the chat box, okay? Yeah, sure. Yeah, we'll share thank you. And I'm glad Chantal is here. I know we've got a couple of other, but it shows that, look, the world we live in, you do need to have an online presence. And if you haven't got an online presence, you really do need to move to an online presence. You do need to, even if you already had a website, it's worth having another look at it, see what it's up to, and see where it needs to be updated. Because like everything else, websites, pages do get dated, and they do need updating every so often. Okay, so have a look at that. Um, and at the same time, if you need any printing material, then obviously, it is something that you need to look at now, see whether you do need any printing material and need a new design, etc. So use people like Chantal to your advantage. Next, we have Cordelia. How are you? Cordelia, do you want to unmute yourself? Hi, Cordelia. Hello, everyone. Hi, my name is Cordelia. I am uh, the manager for uh, a new company that I've just um, developed called Myron Properties Limited. Uh, we're specialists in uh, rent to rent and the HMO market. Uh, we're located mostly in London. So what we do is we offer guaranteed rent to landlords, HMO landlords that are looking for like hands off, hands free uh, management of their property. So we offer them guaranteed rent. Um, minimal involvement um, in property management. We take over everything and we just give them peace of mind where they have like hands off, you know, no problem. At the end of the month, they get the rent that we've agreed. And yeah, that's basically what we do. We just cover most of London. Excellent, very good. Cordelia, drop your details in the chat box, okay? Okay. Yeah, thank you. For, so everyone, yeah. anyone who wants to do this, you'll be surprised at how many people may need your services. Yeah, because we are a diverse group of people here. And we do know people up and down the country. So therefore, um, it, it, knowing what's happened in the past, I can honestly tell you that um, you will find people who will connect with you. So 
I know you're a new business, but drop your details down. It was interesting, okay? Thank you. Uh, Cordelia, that was Cordelia. Who's next? Uh, now we're right. Um, okay, I don't know the name of the person. Someone has got. Someone has got a Galaxy Note 10 phone because that's what they name themselves. If they want to come on and tell us, tell us who you are, etc. Unless you don't want to speak, I'm going to move on. Hi, Sai. This is Christine here. Oh, hi, Christine. Christine, change your note name to Christine so everyone knows who you are. <laughs> uh, I will change that. So my name is no Christine. Okay, now I know who you are. Tell, you can tell other people who what you do and who you are. Yeah. So my name is Christine Mirico, and uh, I run a company called Authentic Healthcare. We've been running for a couple of years now. And this is a healthcare recruitment business, basically, where we run as an agency for healthcare staff. And um, basically, that is quite self-explanatory. During the corona season, we've just been busy. And uh, it, it is what it is, really. They always say one month's food is another month's poison in, in business. And uh, sometimes it's your harvest season. Sometimes it's your season whereby you be quiet, but we try and balance all the times. And uh, it is going well at the moment. And uh, we ventured into property as well. Okay, that's fine. And um, Christine, drop your details in the in the box. So anyone who wants to talk to you about your healthcare business or they've got some products for you, etc., at least they'll be able to contact you. Okay. Thank you. That's good. Thank you, Christine. And um, Jenny, do you want to speak? Jenny works. Hello, everyone. Hi, Jenny. Hi. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, I don't have a business to talk about. <laughs> okay. For so just for don't... everyone, have a good day. Yeah, no, no. For those of you who don't know, Jenny actually works for us. She's one of my assistants who works, is actually working remotely at home. Um, she's not in space, she's at home. She's just got a nice background to it. Um, <laughs> and so for those people who know you, some of you, she may be doing your accounts, etc. This is Jenny who works for me. Thank you, Jenny. Hi, thank you. Bye. Right, Josh, we got you next. Uh, hi, everybody. How is everyone? Yeah, good. Thank you. All good. Uh, yeah, so I just set up a business over lockdown period uh, called The Good Website Project. Um, and basically what that is, it's, it's for small businesses who maybe don't yet have a web presence, or if they do, it's an older kind of web presence, and who are maybe put off by you know, paying expensive hosting costs, things like that. Um, what I'm offering is I'm offering to build a website, to host it um, for the first six months for free, um, to give you a free subdomain. Um, if you've got your own domain, I'll point it there for you. Um, and I just offer under a pay-as-you-feel model. So it's not going to break the bank. Um, and we just work on um, kind of one-on-one -on -one consultations, see what you need, see how we can help. Excellent, very good. Josh, that's, that's really good. Drop your details down. I'm sure that people will be interested in that. And obviously, we are living in a world where people do need to, and people are cost conscious as well. So you've got a nice new sort of model there, which is may, which may appeal to a lot of people on the websites. Absolutely. That's great. And thank you for setting the project up and setting the business up. Even with this COVID-19, see there's opportunities there where people think, I can do things, and they do take that bold step to go further. So congratulations on that and drop your details in the chat box. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Next, Julie Stanislas here. Hi everyone. Hi, my name is Julie. Um, I am the owner of Universal Hair to Excel. Um, my business is, is I sell hair extensions and I help women who have suffered hair loss or have, have um, skin, irritation, skin, um, skin irritations to the hair on the market. So what we want to basically, what we're trying to do is to make women smile again. 
um, basically what I got, when I got into hair extensions, I got into it basically because on my sister. My sister suffers from lupus, and many people don't know what lupus actually is. It's an autoimmune disease. So it affects people in different ways. So one of the things that affected my sister, she had alopecia. Now alopecia, which we, we can, a lot of us can get through different things, through hairstyles, uh, medication, different things like that. But my sister, uh, she had it, and she did for years. She did, wasn't diagnosed, um, but it caused uh, patches in her head. Um, so therefore, it was very traumatic for her because she didn't understand what was happening and why it was happening. So she used to wear um, um, hair, um, used to wear hair, have a hair plaits. And after that, after that period of time, she couldn't wear plaits anymore because obviously the patches will show up too much. And because um, of women, it's women is our hair, it's our beauty. So for her, it was really, really stressful for her finding the solution why it was what was causing it. And the doctor didn't know at first what was causing the, the patches in the head. So we went down this, we went down solutions of wearing um, weaves. And then eventually she's now started wearing hair extensions. So that's where, where I focus mainly on hair extensions. Um, it can be uh, weave-ons, it can be clippings, and it can be wigs. I don't use the other methods. The reason being is they um, tend to attach onto strands of hair. And if it's weak already, it's going to tend to, it's going to break anyway. So what I, what I don't, I provide is not maybe a, a permanent solution, but why we help you out where you are right now, because a lot of women uh, are lonely, are uh, frustrated, don't know where to go, what to do with their hair loss. It's the traumatic stuff because that in the day is some women have like sores in their head because of the patches. Some women want to go down the route of actually doing um, transplants, injections in the head. This is major stuff. Not all women want to go down that route. Some women are happy saying, okay, I want to embrace my, my hair loss and I shave off my hair. Some majority of women do not want to go that route. So where, what I do is we provide um, solutions. Um, we do a lot of, I work with um, hairstylists who will um, do a customized week for my clients. Um, so they choose what hair they want, what kind of styles they want, give her pictures to the hairstylist so she knows what, she, what she's working with, what, she want, what they want to achieve and um, we color the hair, they want it colored. We do anything that makes them feel happy because the whole point of this is to help them get out, get out of their house. Because a lot of people stay in their house because they're frightened, frightened of facing the world again with no hair. Um, so therefore what we do is we try to help them as much as we can. We give a customized service. Um, we give, take them to the stage where they feel comfortable. We've got offer con consultations. We, um, we have to meet them where they're at, wherever, that, wherever their hair station is. I can provide a, a qualified hairstylist who can look at their hair for them and see whether or not this is the option for them. Um, for them. And so we also, although we provide wigs for them to get out of the house, we also help, help them with their hair where they are at and teach them to go forward. Because although we, the people may suffer hair loss, sometimes it's not due to hair loss to do medical reasons, it's because you haven't managed your hair in the past. You've used certain products in your hair that is damaging your hair. So there's things like um, got to be gel glues. These are all great, but then to use excessively causes a problem. It causes you to lose your hair. It causes you to break your hair. And this is what I want to prevent. So I educate women in terms of um, what products are out there. If you use a product, don't use it too often because obviously anything excessively can ruin, damage your hair. So therefore, yeah, we, so that's what we do. So thank you very much everyone. Judy, drop your details in the chat box, okay? Yeah. Okay. And that was Judy from Hair Tech Cell. Um, I'm going to jump a bit because well, I know one person does have to leave us soon, and she did tell me a bit before that. I'll come back to the list. Of, but Rachel, I'm going to ask you to come first because I know that you've got to leave. So, Rachel, if you want to unmute yourselves and introduce yourselves before you leave. Yeah, thank you so much. Um, so my company is called Perry Menham Health. And it's for women for weight loss. So I have a very specific niche. So it's menopausal women. So that's from age 35 and onwards. So the oldest woman I've worked with was 60. And she's lost a lot of weight with me as well, inches. I don't have a photo here, but um, I can post it on later. And it's, I do online. Also, if they want, they could come to me. But online is better because you get more results. And there's no quick fixes here. It's proper nutrition. And I don't give out diets. 
because diets do not work. It's all about mindfulness and I teach how to eat sustainably. So you can have a happy life and also feel more energized throughout the day because at this age, you just feel really tired all the time. Um, and yeah, that's what I do. That's fine, excellent. Rachel, um, drop your details in the chat box and um, we'll take you there. And I know that you've got to go, so not a problem, thank okay? But thank, thank you for coming on today, okay? Thanks. Right, back to our alphabetical order. So Kat, you've already shared your details with us, but tell us a bit about your life and- Yeah, your, apologies for that. I was, I was getting it ready <laughs> and then I pressed return. Don't worry. Um, so there's my email, my website, and um, and where you can buy. Um, so yeah, so I'm Kath Kirkland, and this is my latest novel that I've written. Well, actually, I wrote it years ago. I published it, and then I've republished it myself. Um, I'm trying to move my way from my day job of being a driving instructor, which I've done for 20 years. Um, lockdown has given me lots of time, and I've written a sequel to this book uh, during lockdown. Um, I had no intentions of writing a sequel to it when I started. Um, but lots of people that read it said, oh, I want, I want to know what goes on. So I've written a sequel. I've also got a junior read novel um, about to come out. And then there's another one that I wrote a few years ago that I'm rewriting. But basically, this mum runners, um, the only thing Samantha has run is a ladder in her tights. Susie cannot even run for a bus. And the only thing that Sharon can run is paint down a wall. But somehow they've each agreed to run the London Marathon next year. Samantha wants to impress a new colleague, Susie wants a better life, and Sharon wants another baby. The idea of running 26 miles is frightening to start with, but once they consider the reward, they each look for a running buddy and join joggingbuddy.com. Training starts, it does not come without its problems. Three girls from three very different walks of life unite and name themselves mum runners. Samantha gets an injury, Susie has a car crash, and Sharon has an unexpected visitor, but this does not stop their determination to cross the finishing line. Through the training, they become best friends for life. So that's what it's about. Um, it's on Amazon, um, but also on my website. Um, so yeah, I've got I've got a few more <laughs> about to come out. So um, yeah, I mean, I love my job. I do online driver awareness courses for the police. I love it, but I also love writing, and it's given me though that good three four months of getting into a writing habit. And yeah, what I want to try and do. So yeah, thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Next, we're moving on to Khan Khan Salimi. Hello, everyone. Salamikum, Khan. How are you? Waalaikum salam. I'm very good, thank you. Uh, before I start telling about myself, Julie, do you have anything for men as well? Can't <laughs> <laughs> hear. Okay. Right, okay, so um, my name is Khan and um, I run two businesses. So I've got a bread and butter business, which is uh, digital marketing. Um, and uh, I could proudly say that I know a, a thing or two about it. Um, websites, creating content for social media. We don't manage social media accounts, but we create content um, and we also do animated videos. Um, we all know that the world has gone online. We know that um, you, as well as your competitors are online. So there's a lot of noise um, in everywhere we go. So how do you stand out from your competition? How do you tell your target client that look at me, I am, the, I am good at what I do, you need me. Um, it, has been, it has become a lot more difficult than it used to be. This is where we come, we help you have a an optimum online profile, an optimum online presence with, with wicked websites, really creative um, content for social media, as well as uh, vibrant videos for um, you that you could um, that you could use and stand out from your competition. We help you uh, get the credibility as well. Currently, I'm working with a I'm working on a project with a tutor based in London, um, and not only that, we are creating a a vibrant, highly engaging website, but we also, we have got our own online platform for meetings that we have developed. So we are integrating an online platform on his website where he could run his online lessons and, and workshops and trainings. So this is the new market that we want to enter. We want to speak to business owners, uh, coaches, tutors, and any business owner who, who offer free consultation, one-to-one -one consultation to the clients 
So rather than using Zoom, if you want to be really cool and funky and want to have those online one-to-ones on your website, we could help you um, create that integrated into your website. Not a third party, not a Zoom, but, our, but your own online platform that you could use. I promise you, you look really cool with that. Um, my second business is, is all about sales training. So um, we, again, knowing a thing or two about how to grow businesses, um, we have started a new service for, um, for businesses um, on how to, how to grow. Um, we are not a mindset coach. Um, I don't deal with that. I'm not a qualified. Um, we offer step-by-step practical strategies we look at your marketing, we look at your sales process, we take you through a, a roadmap of what needs done, uh, and then after that, we will, will help you um, create strategies, we'll help you step-by-step -step action plans of what you could do to grow your business to the next level. So this is Khan, my company is called Rocket Science. It's a pleasure talking to you guys. Okay, Khan, okay. drop your details in the chat box and your contact details. I am going to recommend everyone to sign up to Khan's uh, email address because he does have uh, a magazine, an e-magazine which comes out called The Red Cape. Um, and that is really useful. He has a lot of business tips, especially on marketing and sales, that sort of things. If someone, if you go on to, if you, if you, if he puts you on his database, every month he sends it out. I uh, get a WhatsApp message with, on, with it on. It's a PDF document that comes on. He has a lot of business tips on there, which, I found useful and a lot of my other clients have found useful as well. So anyone who hasn't signed up for it, drop your an email and just ask that you want the Red Cape um, thing and it's a free bullet monthly sort of, it's, a, it's not a one page, it's about seven, eight pages and um, magazine that comes out, an e-magazine that comes out and it's full of business tips each month. Okay, so yeah, that's Yes, yeah. yeah, a free newsletter, uh, like say it said, it's seven, eight pages of, of really good tips. Um, just to, you know, so it makes you think, it provokes your thinking, and it, it makes you think about what actions and steps you could take. So, you know, a lot of thought goes be, uh, while we are, present, we are preparing that. But yeah, I would love to share it with you guys. If you drop me uh, your email addresses, I'm happy to send it yeah, to you. Okay. Like Thank I said, you. free of charge. Thank you. Okay, next, uh, Khan, make sure you drop your details in the box, okay? Yeah. Next, uh, we have Lincoln. Lincoln, how are you? Yeah, good morning, everyone. Uh, I feel a bit like Richie Benno with the cricket. Hello, good morning, everyone. And uh... oh, that's really good. I am that is the best proper <laughs> Uh I could do Tony Cozy, but I'm not going to because the West Indies have had a bad year. But it's been um, a very, very bad, bad year for the cricket. And um, my name is Lincoln Noel. I'm the maestro. I play the piano. I teach the piano. I've been a pianist for 33 years. I'm based in Northampton. Literally behind my house is the resting place of Lady Diana. I've known the dispensers even before she was famous. Um, I play weddings. I play parties. Um, I, uh, I've done weddings of all sorts of faiths. Um, like Kath, um, I've just become a writer. In lockdown, I decided uh, I'm currently... Uh, writing a book called The Making of the Weddings Maestro. I've been doing weddings for 40 years, and uh, to celebrate that, I am writing a book um, as a pianist who happens to be black, who lives in middle England, describing my experiences and my career from uh, age 13 to what I am now. So I'm uh, publishing that um, on October the 1st. The thing that I really want to push today, I mean, if you've got friends, you've got parties and weddings, that's great. Um, and, and those are all going to be coming back. And I do a good 90 to 100 weddings a year. And I'm in residence at a place not far from here called Whittlebury Park, which is very close to a place that you will all know as Silverstone Racetrack, the home of British racing. But the thing that I really i am um, looking to push, which I've been doing a lot during lockdown, and I know I'll continue to do, is video telegrams where I play, I record videos um, either on WhatsApp or we transfer and do shout outs for people's birthday. So um, I'm, I'm doing a, a, a lady who's big into Elvis and doing a lot of sort of uh, uh, rock and roll and all that kind of stuff. Well, a man tomorrow who's very big on Michael Jackson. So if there's anybody you know who would like a present, it's a little bit different. You can see what kind of character I am. I'm going to show happy birthday to them. 
eventually and play happy birthday. But of course, throw in the sort of music that they liked as well. So that's me, Lincoln Noel. I'm based in Northampton, but literally I have played everywhere, north, south, east, west. And my last wedding was in Bali in Southeast Asia. So I'm, I'm quite prepared to get on my bike and travel even that far. Um, and Saeed, I'm absolutely loving the uh, the meeting. Thank you very much for your watching. Lincoln, drop your details on and well done for you and um, look forward to the book. Absolutely. Okay. Thanks. Drop your details in the chat box though so people can get in touch with you. No problem. Thank you. Next, we have Mamadou. Mamadou, your, your turn. Unmute yourself. Come forward. Yeah, good morning, everyone. Yeah. Good morning, Ramadu. How are you this morning? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I will be a little bit shy because it's my first Don't time. Don't worry, Ramadu. Look, look, I know that you're shy. Yeah. And, but this is what one of the things is that, look, it's an easy platform. No one's going to laugh at you or anything else. Bring that yeah. confidence up because you need to build that confidence up for your, for your business anyway. So okay. tell people what you do, etc. now. Yeah, me, I'm a chef. Uh, I, we've been like opening one new business in the lockdown time. Maybe the name is the Lucky Mamas. If you hear like, it's like one food truck. We do fresh pizza and fresh pasta. And the funny thing is the plan was for going to festival and uh, going to party, wedding party, something like that. And after you come the lockdown, we have to change our plan. We have a massive big garden. We apply our food truck in our big garden, and we are making the food in our our garden. That was was the fancy thing we did in this lockdown, and now it's, it's going good. We are, in, yeah, it's going good. Yeah. Okay, Mama, do thank you. See, it was easy. It wasn't difficult. I'm glad that you came and you shared that with us. Now, in the chat box, put your details down, your website and your telephone and your email, so people who want to order some food from you uh, can do so. And um, it is got a, you've got a Senegalese sort of flavor to it, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, that's what you have. Yeah, so anyone want some variety? Put your details down in the chat box, okay? There's a chat box on the system. Put yeah. your details in there, people will be able to contact you, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mamadou, thank you. Right, next, morning. Hello, good afternoon everyone. Thank you so much, Saeed, for the invitation. Um, yeah, it's been very interesting hearing about the different businesses. So my name is Maureen Nogbu. I'm a solicitor based in London. However, we cover all parts of the UK. So I specialise in business regulations and uh, HMO landlord issues. Um, I used to work as a prosecutor for different um, local government bodies, uh, central government, different regulators. So I started a practice three years ago. There's three of us, three lawyers. There's a commercial property lawyer, there's a commercial contract lawyer, and then there's myself, a, re a regulatory lawyer. So a combination of 70 plus years legal experience between the three of us. And we're looking also to recruit um, now and uh, beyond. So today in particular, I wanted to mention the fact that um, enforcement is actually going up for people that are investing in HMO properties. So lots of local authorities um, have been sending out letters. People that are professionals have also invested in properties. And traditionally, we all know that HMO properties are more lucrative than the single let properties. So that's what I've been um, focusing on helping clients with um, the last, probably the last three, four weeks, we've had about six different queries in regards to those. Um, improvement notice, prohibition orders, because there's a backlog. So lots of them are working remotely like most of us are, and uh, they're trying to catch up with all their paperwork. So if you or anybody you know who's an investor in property, regardless of what they do professionally or other types of business that they have, uh, please do get to get them to actually contact somebody like myself. Um, a conveyancer would not be able to help with this type of issue or any other property uh, lawyer, in fact, because obviously it's a regulatory issue. So when you have that type of issue, if you own uh, HMO properties or you do know other people that own HMO properties, 
there'll be a combination of building regulation issue, there'll be a combination of planning enforcement issue, there'll be health and safety issue, and they need to have somebody that actually is a specialist. So I'm not a generalist, I'm a specialist. And specialists, obviously, they knew that they know their stuff because they've done it for so many years. I may look, I don't know how long I looked to, how old I looked to all of you, but <laughs> 20 plus years legal experience. Um, yeah, so um, that's me. Uh, the firm is called Reen Anderson Solicitors. We're based in London, but we cover all of UK. And so thank you so much again for inviting me on. No problem. Um, Maureen, drop your details in the chat box. Um, Thank if you. anyone wants any regulatory business, and I have worked with a lot of some of my clients with Maureen, I can re to totally recommend Maureen for that. So drop your details in the box, Maureen, and uh, that will let everyone, and I'll tell everyone at the end how they can download that chat box so everyone has everyone's details. Thank Next you. Next, we have Muhammad Salim. Assalamu Said. Wa alaikum salam. Hey guys, you okay? Yeah, very good. How are you? Yeah, pretty well. Thank you very much. Okay, now we'll get to know what you actually do. I'm, I'm looking forward to this because I've never yeah. understood what you actually do. Hi guys. So I'm from a company called Harrington Taylor Financial Consultants. Essentially what we do is we specialize in a very niche area of tax. It's called research and development tax credits. Now, essentially what that means is that if, you're, if a company is spending money um, on on innovative things, uh, trying to improve their businesses or any kind of processes, then you're more than likely going to be, able, we're more than likely going to be able to put a claim through uh, for you. If I were just to go back a step, essentially, um, R&D tax credits, it's not something that's new. It's been around since the year 2000. Uh, it's essentially a tax break that's been put on by the UK government. Uh, whether a limited company is actually making a profit or a loss is irrelevant. Um, all we need to essentially see is a limited company that's spending money. Uh, so because it's a very niche area of tax, I don't want to go into too much detail at the moment. Obviously, anybody is more than welcome to contact me later on. I'm more than happy to spend you know, hours with you uh, going through anything that we need to do. But just to keep things simple for the moment, um, look, if you have a company that seeks to make an advancement in any kind of science or technology field, then we're more than likely to be able to put a claim through here yeah, for you. Um, other examples of qualifying uh, costs or qualifying activities within the company are if you try to uh, develop some kind of software, a reduction in waste maybe, um, development of new products, improved processes, any of these kind of things are all qualifying activity when making an R&D uh, claim. Now, essentially what my company does is um, we will do everything from A to Z. So we check any company and essentially we, we will walk through the whole process. So when it comes to filing an R&D claim, just to keep it very simple for the moment, um, what we do is we'll write two reports essentially. We'll create a technical document, which is essentially the story to say, here's the company. This is why we feel it's eligible to claim the R&D tax credits. And these are the reasons why we are, we are claiming for this. The second thing is a financial report. Now, now, everything that we do is based on um, your profit and loss sheets. So every limited company makes a set of accounts, and within them accounts, uh, there is a profit and loss sheet, which, profits and loss sheet, which essentially talks about uh, you know the expenditure any business has had. Um, so, for example, uh, if a company has spent you know a million pounds in the past year, and of that million pounds, let's just say I don't know, fifty um, percent of it was or qualifying from an R&D perspective, the law stipulates that of your qualifying exp expenditure, you can claim back 33% as a tax-free as a tax-free cash benefit. So, you know, you're looking at quite a lot of money that can be returned to a company uh, for free. Uh, essentially, we work on a no win, no fee basis. Um, we'll do everything from, you know, putting the whole claim through from the start to the end, and essentially uh, getting the money Paid back from HMRC into the business's account. The whole process takes around about 28 days, but um, everything that we've put through has, uh, thank God, gone through. We've never had any kind of issues, um, and that's essentially what we do. Uh, I'll leave my details in the in the chat box, and uh, anybody's more than free to give me a call at any point, and we will essentially uh, be more than happy to speak in more depth at that point. Thank you. Put your details in the chat box. Thank you. Um, 
I can tell you people that look, um, I do know Muhammad Salim and I do know what he does. That was just, and I can tell you that look, um, these R and B claims that he's talking about is some of that. A lot of people don't realize that they do exist, and they're actually valid for most businesses. If you long as you you're, you're a limited company, and you're doing some sort of work, etc., these guys will come on on board. And they will have a look at this and they will see whether you can claim anything at all. And we have found that um, it's hugely successful. That there is, even if you buy an IT or whatever else, and especially in this stage, a lot of people want to become more efficient, etc. So you may be looking to, um, or you may have bought computers, printers, anything to do with that sort of thing. It does give you an opportunity to claim some sort of R&D. So it does work. So um, absolutely, please um, do get in touch with us. Right, next, Nasir, are you around? You were driving in your car last time I saw you. Are you around? Yes, I am. Hello. I hope you're part. Hello. You are a solicitor. I am <laughs> You don't I am want a solicitor driving and speaking. Do you understand? That's the last thing we want. No, Especially no, a criminal I'm solicitor. I'm part of so Thank you very much. You're okay. um, um, yeah, thank you. So my name's Nasir Vizi. I'm a... I'm a solicitor by profession in Manchester. Uh, I also uh, publish short legal video explainers uh, for the wider society on a YouTube channel called Community Legal Education. Um, I think I sent you one, um, Saeed. I don't know if it's possible to share it with anyone, but um, it was on about the uh, UK travel quarantine laws. Um, uh, that, uh, you did send it to me, and I will share that later on with everyone. No problem. That that's great. Uh, but yeah, no, it's it's great meeting everyone and, and listening and sharing everybody's uh, experiences of how to uh, develop, especially during this emergency uh, health pandemic. Okay, so drop your details in the box, right? And uh, if anyone wants any, Nasir is a criminal lawyer, okay? So anyone who's in problems, if, you, if you're at the police station, you need to get his number <laughs> again, yeah? <laughs> yeah. 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 Except yeah. That's always, right. Except his phone is always busy, so you do have a problem. Um, <laughs> that's what he deals with. But he does do a lot of things on the community front, and I will just share a video a bit later on about one of the videos that he does to help people on the community side of things. Okay. Thanks, Nasir. Yeah. Thank you. Thank Shaq, you, Saeed. You got Thank you. I know your first one, but your your name begins with S, so you're right at the bottom of the list. Shaq. Shaq is here. I've seen him. I just said always at the bottom of the list. Not quite. Not when it comes to rugby. <laughs> How are you? You all right? I'm very good. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Shaq Anwar. Uh, I'm, uh, uh, well, I run the online marketing group, which is a uh, digital agency. We've been going for about five, six years now. Sorry? No, carry on, Shaq. That was yeah. Nice. Um, so we, uh, I mean, there's quite a few other guys building websites, etc. So I don't want to tread on their toes. Uh, in during the COVID period, we've been concentrating on uh, e-commerce. We work with Shopify, so a lot of retailers uh, who are suddenly finding their doors are open, but there's only half the number of people coming in. Uh, they need to get their products online, products and services online. So we help them do that. Uh, we just launched two uh, two sites in the last three weeks. And they're already turning over something like a thousand to two thousand pounds a week, which is great additional income, uh, given the fact that the people actually coming through the doors has reduced by 75 percent and their incomes are down. So, um, you know, we're, we're trying to get hold of anyone who's got a, um, a product or services or service that needs to get online quick. Uh, Shopify is a platform where you can start by paying. 25 uh, pounds a month uh, to Shopify, not to me. Uh, that takes care of all the, uh, the, uh, the platform, the hosting, absolutely everything. Um, so, you know, we're looking for uh, retailers, wholesalers. We're looking for people who've got businesses that can uh, 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 get their products online, whether it's a, a downloadable product, whether it's a booking service, anything because the world has changed. Everyone is online. Even old footy duddies like me are actually getting online and buying things. Um, and you know what? It's great. It's easy. But the problem is no one's going to just come onto your site and buy it. 
the site's got to be right. There's got to be incentives on there as to why they should buy it. There's got to be social proof. We're trusted, uh, <clears throat> we're partners of uh, Trustpilot. So we can get you uh, a free trial of Trustpilot. Trustpilot is the world's biggest uh, um, social proof organization, uh, which increases your conversions by up to 25, 30%. Yeah, so I'll put my details on the uh, on the chat. I need to chat to Julie. Julie? Don't worry, Julie, you can chat to Yeah, I need to chat with her. Hair just, to Excel, check it we, out. We, we're just finishing a hair care and repair uh, website yeah. selling medisutical products, uh, specifically for people, for ladies, men and ladies, men and women that are losing their hair, et cetera, et cetera. So I think that might be of interest to you. Okay. Um, and I'll hook up with Lincoln as well. I just sent you a request on uh, LinkedIn. Buddy, <laughs> he'll catch on. Don't worry, Lincoln is quick on that. He won't let any opportunities go. Thanks, Jack, before you go, right? I think for the benefit of everyone else here, I think people need to know your story, especially with rugby. <laughs> uh, very quickly, um, I, I, I uh, my background is actually sports and fashion. So um, I was working at Umbro, uh, the big uh, sports brand, in the mid '90s. I set up the European operation. Um, I speak German and French uh, and then I woke up one morning in 97 and I thought I would create a rugby brand for rugby players. Everyone said to me, no, Nike will kill you, Adidas will kill you, these people will kill you, what are you doing wasting your money? Um, I just put my head down, I built a brand called Cougar Made for Rugby and by 2007 we were the second largest rugby brand in the world. Our, our first professional contract Lincoln was Northampton Saints. <laughs> so we worked with all the large clubs and in 2013 actually, um, I mean it was a great honour when the Lions went to Australia, the Australians were wearing Cougar, uh, Cougar kit. So um, yeah, the story is basically in 2008 the financial crash came and um, all the banks went AWOL and we were left struggling. So I knew the chairman of JD Sports, Peter Cowgill. I gave him a call and uh, basically sold my business to him in 2009. So uh, yeah, that's my story. Yeah, excellent. <laughs> Very good. Well, that's great. So Shaq's got a lot of experience in business and that's why what he's doing now is really successful because he brings all that experience to the yeah, Absolutely. I mean, I, I, one of the things that we do is we, when we sit down with uh, businesses, we look at the business from a holistic point of view you know, on what you want to achieve. And maybe, you know, uh, some things that you're thinking about may not be right. And there are various other options that we can, uh, uh, we can put into place. But uh, yeah, um, I've got to go. But yeah, it's no problem, Jack. Drop your details. Absolutely, yeah, box. absolutely Jack. wonderful absolutely. Uh, time to everyone. And good no luck. Problem. Good luck. Yeah, good. Thanks. Um, next, I've got Shani. Shani, um, you want to come online? Unmute yourselves. Hey there. Yes, I'm here. Tony, how are you? Yeah, not too bad. Thank you very much. Okay, so tell uh, us I'm just hobbling doing? around the house doing my work as well as other things. Okay, tell us about this new project that you've got coming up. When's the launch? Have you waiting for this for the last six months? Right, okay. So I actually have two businesses. I have my bread and butter, uh, which is consulting finance consulting. I consult to organizations such as. Uh, uh, banking and at the moment I'm currently with BAE Systems. Um, my second business which I've just opened is a dessert shop. One, one I'm interested in is the, is, the, is the dessert place. I need a dessert. Yeah, so um, I'm opening a dessert shop in Charlton. It's called the Little Dessert Shop. It's a franchise. Unfortunately, we've had a lot of problems um, with the build and with COVID coming in, we've struggled quite a bit on that side as well. But now we're coming towards the end bit now where we're looking to open mid-September. So the plan is hopefully to get it uh, up and running, but obviously with the way the retail market, well, will be the way the markets are going at the moment, the food markets, et cetera, it's not the best of time. So I think one of the things we'll be probably looking at is like looking at some kind of promotions, how we can set ourselves to, you know, get into the market as well. <clears throat> Obviously, we are a franchise, so we do have the help on the backup of the, of the franchise, but it'd be great to have somebody locally as well to get some kind of promotions out there. Uh, I think there are three companies that are doing that, but it'd be good to know if there's any more. Uh, what type of desserts we do? We're similar to creams. Um, 
in the sense that we do we're more the upmarket desserts. Uh, so we do like the crepes, waffles, um, uh, what we see milkshakes, your teas, coffees, uh, and also savouries as well. Um, so it's a huge mix. Uh, we've got a large menu. Uh, and I'm hoping that uh, people will do compass by on Wilbraham Road, next uh, two doors away from Dixie's. Okay, thank you. Right, drop your details down right in the box, right? And then people will go and work. 15th of September, you said. I'm going to put that in my diary. Yeah, I'm hoping that to so the yeah, air, because we're going to, um, the training starts on the first week of September. So that's okay. the date we're looking at at the moment. No problem. That's fine. I'll let you off then. I'll let you go there. <laughs> right. Next, but not least, Simon. Thank you, Saeed. Afternoon, everyone. And uh, all credit to you, Saeed, for uh, your staying power with this group. <laughs> Don't worry, Simon. Simon. It's good. It's good to see um, you. I've not seen you for a long time. So I think it was probably six years ago. I was just having a look at my uh, emails uh, when uh, Saeed introduced me to Costas, who runs Chilton Smile. Yeah. Um, dental practice uh, and I provided some IT support to him I'm still providing IT support to him uh, so just to show that these uh, meetups do work really well um, and just um, say from your introduction um, it would be worth mentioning I think uh, what self-employed people have to do for their tax if they get that um, payment from HMRC on the, you know, the... Um... Okay, so, yeah, it's a valid question. So anyone who gets a grant, a grant is income, okay? So it does go on if you're self-employed and you qualify for the grant, you receive the money, but that money is income to you. So when you come to do your next year's, i.e. 2021 tax returns and your accounts, you'll have a line on there saying other income, and you'll put in there all the money that you receive from the grant, it is taxable. Yes, it's not free money. It doesn't need to be repaid. If you spend it and there's no profit on it, then you're back to normal. But it is there. It is going to be taxable. Thank you, Simon. No, good shout. Um, so I run Simply Better IT. It's an IT support company for small businesses. Uh, historically, I've done uh, retainer contracts where people uh, keep me for a couple of hours a month, up to eight hours a month maybe, uh, but I'm moving to managed service uh, provision where small businesses would have me do the whole of their IT rather than just call me in uh, now and again. So I would uh, manage all their Windows updates, updates to third party applications on their PCs, uh, look after their email, primarily uh, Microsoft 365, set up their SharePoint for data uh, storage and backup, uh, really do the whole uh, shebang. Uh, and just getting back to um, Chilton Smile, to kind of come full circle where um, in order for them to do work for the NHS, they're going to have to get a accreditation, which is Cyber Essentials, shows that their IT setup is uh, up to a a good enough standard to um, trade with the NHS. So I'm doing the, the whole thing now, right the way through to um, Cyber Essentials and uh, everything that a small business needs from IT. Put my details in there. Yeah. Thanks again, Said. Thank you very much. Right, guys, we're coming to the end of our program today. Hope you found it useful. Now, what I want everyone to do, if you go to the chat box, there's three little dots at the bottom. If you press the three little dots, right, when it says in the chat box, there's three little dots. You press the three little bullocks and you press save chat. That will allow you to save all the chat on your computer. So everyone's details you will have. Okay, I will send out everyone's details. Everyone's use the chat box, show me their details. I will send them out to everyone. But it does allow you at the moment to go into chat box, press those three little buttons, and you will be able to save um, everyone's details, and that will save on your computer. Right, before we go, um, those people who don't know me, I know most people do know me, we're accountants, helping small businesses progress. And what I want to share with you today is just a little video that we, someone created for us. 
this is what I believe that most businesses do need to do. And I wanted to give someone an idea for you that will sort of business that you can you can create, which will be useful for you. So I'm going to share this if I can. Having problems using your own accounting or taxes and you're not even sure if you're doing them right, this is where we can help you. We are accounting and tax experts and we will get the job done quickly and effectively. We will handle all your accounting and tax related needs quickly, professionally, and at an affordable price. So don't panic and call the first account you find. Contact us today and we will provide you with the highest quality accounting and tax services. Okay, that's us. Right, so we're accountants. That's something that someone put together for me, right? Um, and that's the sort of video that you need to do short, sharp, okay, through the point. But that's what people's attention is there. It is short, it needs to be sharp. Something like that doesn't take a lot of money to do. And if you talk to uh, Khan Salimi, who's on there from the Red Cape, he preserves that's what he does. He produces those videos. There are other people who'll be able to produce those sort of animated videos. That's what something that you need to do. You need to create a lot more video because a lot of people are not reading, they're taking it videoing, they're taking it visually. So you need to move on with the times, you need to create that sort of thing for yourselves and for your businesses. So you can use them on your website, you can use them on your um, social media platforms, and that's how you do it. I'm going to call it a day guys, thank you very much. Um, whilst we're in this COVID-19 business, we'll be doing this once a month. So hopefully we'll have one in September. Um, take care, look after yourselves. Most importantly, the success of anything that we do here. Oh no, before I go, Akil, if you're still there, did you find that video you wanted to share? I did say I would give you the opportunity to come back. Is he there? Right. Sorry, can you, can you hear me now? Oh, sorry yeah, about that. I, I was, I was, I was, yeah, I did uh, actually, sorry about oh, that. We'll I, was, uh, I was on mute. Absolutely, no problem sharing. Yeah, let me share my screen. Uh, let me see. Oh, I can do that. Shani might have already seen this one. Uh, okay, so bear with me a sec. Hopefully, can I wrap? There's no sound. Keel, I hope you heard that. We're not getting any sound through. Is it too? So, can you hear that? We can't hear any sound at all. Oh, apologies about that. I don't. Not if you want to play it could... again, you can do this is only a short video, I know, but if you want to play it again, if you get the sound up, then absolutely fine. But I oh, think... I think, sorry, I think I know why the sound wasn't working. It's probably because I've, because is it because I'm using my headset, my Jabra headset? Yes, uh... it is. Well, baby, you're only you're listening to it. We're not listening I'm to only the one hearing it. Oh, gosh, one second. All right, well, so I'm sorry about that. Let me just change my system preferences to inbuilt. That's probably why. Okay, let's try that one more time. Apologies. Um... Hopefully. Okay. To the next. We're not getting no sound. Hi, my name is Akil Kazmi from Upskill Professional Development. We provide expert training for business analysts. We also provide PA toolkit, which you can use to add value from day one in your organization. In addition to the BA toolkit, we also provide you with a, a CV review session so you can adapt your CV for BA roles. This is a unique opportunity to learn which you'll not get anywhere else. Visit www.upscalepd.co.uk to begin your BA journey today. Yeah, there you go.
Thank you very much, Akil. That was good. Uh, it looks, it's another nice little professional video. And these are the sort of things that I'm glad that we're sharing them because that's what we, we do need to do. Um, create a video. That is the secret to business success at the moment is creating video content. And that's what's more interesting. And that's what engages people, attracts people. So once again, thank you very much for this morning. Very importantly that you do contact each other. The secret of networking and building all your contacts is for everyone to drop their email or their address to saying, look, nice to meet you online. This is my details. This is my website. I know everyone's got them, but it's good to have that one-to-one -one and you never know where this might go to. Because, I'm, because from experience, from what I've experienced, what other people have come on board, what they've done is that they have found that when they have done business, they've talked to people, it's gone to places where you cannot imagine. Yeah, they just met someone here and someone has met them, someone else, and they said, do you know someone who does this, this, this? And they turned around and said, oh yeah, I do know someone, I do met, I did meet someone, I've got their details. That's what we all need to do. So thank you very much for joining us today. I'm calling it a day now. Hopefully we'll see you again next month, okay? Thank you Thanks, guys. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Saeed. Excellent. Thanks, Saeed. Thank, Thank you. Care, guys. Take care. Bye-bye. 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 B